spoken narration ghostwritten by the above artist, mimic their style closely, speak in the first person, the point of a video is to form a deep connection with the audience. Avoid mentioning the name of the ghostwriter. All right, health professionals, let's dive into the fascinating world of stem cells. Today I'm breaking down the key differences between embryonic stem cells and adult stem cells. First off, the biological characteristics. Embryonic stem cells have a knack for fast cell division, but maintaining a long-term culture? That's tricky. These cells can differentiate into various types thanks to their variable gene expression patterns. On the flip side, adult stem cells divide more slowly and retain their function within specific tissues. Their gene expression matches the characteristics of adult tissue, making differentiation more limited. Next, let's talk immune response. Embryonic stem cells from another organism can trigger high immune rejection. But adult stem cells? They're usually autologous, meaning they're from your own body, so immune rejection is much less of a concern. This makes them a safer option for treatments. Now, regenerative ability. Embryonic stem cells excel at regenerating damaged tissues or organs, but their clinical application is somewhat limited. Adult stem cells, however, are already used in various clinical treatments, primarily for regenerating specific tissues. What about genetic stability? Embryonic stem cells can be genetically unstable during culture, increasing the risk of tumor formation. Adult stem cells are more genetically stable and more likely to develop into cells that match adult tissue characteristics. Finally, the difficulty of research and development. Embryonic stem cell research is complex, fraught with regulatory and legal hurdles. Research on adult stem cells is comparatively easier and is progressing actively in many fields. There you have it. Understanding these differences helps us make better decisions in research and therapy. Remember, choosing the right treatment method involves weighing the characteristics and pros and cons of each cell type. Stay curious and keep pushing the boundaries of science.